Now, we've received 1.33 million doses from Pfizer-BioNTech. And based on the math, that's 1.76 million doses. And we have 1.33 million left for the three weeks in March. And so regardless how you add it up or divide it, that gives us 4 million doses by the 31st of March. 6 million vaccines, 4 million Pfizer and 2 million Moderna delivered by the end of March. That's Canada's first quarter vaccination target and what's outlined in the contracts Canada has signed with the pharma giants. Despite recent reductions in deliveries, Canada's vaccine logistics boss says there's no reason he can see why Pfizer and Moderna wouldn't hit their targets. Now, in terms of Moderna, the total of Moderna doses to date, including what is coming, it, it leaves 1.3 million that will still have to be delivered in March. The manufacturer has told us that we will reach that target. We have no reason to not believe that. Canada has been dealing with reduced vaccine supply since January when Pfizer halved Canadian deliveries due to work at its Belgian factory. Last week, Moderna said it would cut its next delivery by 20% as well. Deputy Chief Public Health Officer Dr. Howard New says despite high demand for vaccines, Canada's first quarter target is unchanged. This first trimester is a period of relative scarcity, you know, uh, uh, the vaccines are just being ramped up in terms of being produced, uh, you know, and uh, for global market. And uh, Canada, we have our place. Uh, uh, we've indicated, and uh, I, I, I certainly uh, at this point, along with uh, Major General Fontaine, uh, uh, agree that uh, the the indications are still there for the uh, uh, the, the del delivery of the Pfizer vaccine, four million doses by the end of. Uh, March and for the 2 million doses of Moderna by the end of March. Even if all confirmed deliveries are met, Canada will still be over 2.5 million doses short. But Pfizer hasn't confirmed deliveries for the second half of March yet, and Moderna has yet to verify the size of any March deliveries. Major General Danny Fortin says right now there's no reason to doubt them. Well, Moderna has assured us that we will have received the 2 million total by the end of March. That is the information I am working off today. That is the information the Government of Canada is working with. And we are confident that we are working well with Moderna. We have an excellent relationship with them. And if there were any problems, they would raise them. While officials may be confident, some Canadians have their doubts. A new poll finds that less than half of Canadians surveyed trusted COVID information coming from premiers or the prime minister. The Proof Strategies poll also found about 8 in 10 Canadians trusted information coming from doctors or scientists, while just 27% said they trusted large corporations. In Ottawa, Shao Lee, City News.